Hello, my name is M.K. Davis. What I'd like to discuss with you is uh, a video uh, that I call the knockdown video. And it's a video uh, of a situation where some people have habituated uh, some alleged to Sasquatch or Bigfoot. And uh, the, these alleged Sasquatch or Bigfoot have become emboldened. Uh, and they... they they entered a chicken house on this particular event, and uh, that's uh, generally considered by these people to be not tolerated. So uh, it be ended up being a chase uh, where they uh, went out into the woods and spotlighted and found uh, uh, the individual. And there was an altercation, and a man gets knocked down. I want to do a little breakdown of that uh, so you can kind of see what I see when you look at it. Uh, with uh, with a with a, uh, a keen eye uh, and break it down and frame by frame and uh, in, in the important parts. So let's just take a look first uh, at the video as it runs, and then I'll stop and uh, we'll explain it as it goes. So uh, let's take a look. As the camera sweeps the floor, uh, take a look at the ground, and I think you'll see uh, uh, you'll, it, it, there's a, a track in the fine dust there uh, that's kind of faint at first. I do a little enhancement, and you can see where the the, the, the big guy's been in there, uh, and that's why they're, they're uh, so upset. All right, we're going to play that clip over again, and we're going to uh, uh, amplify the sound. And uh, you'll hear the woman say, "I hear it." And uh, as as the clip goes along, you'll hear uh, uh, somebody holler out to the Sasquatch, uh, and that's that's the person. They know how to get a response because they are they have habituated these individuals for quite some time, and they know them. Okay, so so he get, he he knows what to do, so he does it, and then listen, and you'll hear a response off in the distance. Uh, next, the pursuit uh, uh, ends up uh, out out of the area and you know through a gate and then into the edge of the woods. Uh, so let's continue to follow. The light you're about to see on the left is a camcorder and a light shining directly into a mirror. This they've been filming 
for for quite a while. There it is, right there. So you you know they they these things come in close. All right, follow the clip uh, uh, rather closely, uh, and we're, we're, he's about to see eye shine uh, off in the edge of the woods. Um, and as he pans across there, and, and I slow it down in a kind of a, a, a one frame at a time, so you can follow it. Put an arrow on it, so just just uh, see if you can figure out just how high this eye shine is off of the ground. Uh, but uh, uh, it, it, it gets better as it goes along. You're about to hear a very low uh, guttural growl uh, of some type. Uh, uh, right at this point in time, uh, it's unclear as to whether who's chasing who. Um, uh, the individual with the camera is, is in pursuit, but it appears that uh, the individual uh, that he's chasing has turned around and come back on him. Uh, so uh, it ends up with a, with a, a little excitement there. I don't recommend doing this. Uh, I, I think it is fraught with risk and peril, but all's well that ends well in this case. Okay, here it is, amplified.
Okay, next comes the knockdown. Uh, I'm freeze frame it uh, at a particular spot there because I picked up a, what I consider to be ice shine here, or, or potentially ice shine, and it looks like it is. And uh, uh, it's right on the other side of the tree from this fellow, and and uh, uh, he was not in a good position. Uh, this thing had kind of doubled back on him uh, from where it was previously off in the woods. Uh, so it, it had come to him, he had come to it, uh, and the, t the twain met right there at that tree, uh, and uh, he ended up sitting on the ground. Uh, look at the distance between the eyes. If that is eye shine, that's a big fella. Uh, anyway, uh, let's, let's look. Uh, please remember that these people are, are habituators, that they, they are used to and know the individual Sasquatch, if, if that's what it is, uh, on their place. Uh, they have fed them and they have tolerated them for quite a while. And if that's why, you know, you see this unusual behavior. Uh, they would tolerate most things, and, and an atmosphere of tolerance is certainly there, except for, except for the invasion of the hen house, uh, which they uh, did not appreciate. Uh, so uh, that's why they actually... Uh, uh, we're going to make an issue out of that because the Sasquatch continually raided that hen house, and uh, you see the size of the track in there. Uh, they they went out and uh, made an issue out of it, and uh, I don't recommend that. Uh, you know, uh, you, you, that's the that's the dangers of of trying to habituate. You can habituate anything, lizards, snakes, anything, uh, but. Uh, in this particular case, you're you're habituating something that's quite intelligent, and 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 when they become emboldened, they don't know necessarily when to stop. Now that you've seen the clip, uh, you ask yourself, perhaps, uh, did this really occur, um, or was this some kind of stage thing? Um, having been there myself. Uh, I would say it's likely that it did, but you be the judge. Anyway, thank you for your time.